di viaggiare alla velocità della luce è interessante per il genere fantascientifico. The idea of traveling at the speed of light is an attractive one for the sci-fi genre. The speed of light is an incredible 299,792,458 meters per second. At that speed, you could circle Earth more than seven times in one second, and humans would finally be able to explore outside our solar system. Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity famously dictates that no known object can travel faster than the speed of light in vacuum. This limitation makes it highly unlikely that humans will ever be able to send spacecraft to explore beyond our local area of the Milky Way. Until now, NASA is pushing all physics boundaries with a faster than light speed spacecraft design. The idea sounds like it is straight out of a sci-fi thriller, and that is because it is. The warp drive was first seen in Star Trek, allowing for superluminal spacecraft propulsion across the cosmos. According to Albert Einstein's special relativity theory, the problem of a material object exceeding the speed of light is that an infinite amount of kinetic energy would be required. But this can theoretically be solved by warping space to move an object instead of increasing the kinetic energy of the object to do so. So, will it finally be possible for us to travel at light speed. The Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory, or Eagle Works Laboratories, at NASA's Johnson Space Center is a small research group investigating a variety of theories regarding new forms of spacecraft propulsion. The lab's purpose is to explore, investigate, and pursue advanced and theoretical propulsion technologies that are intended to allow human exploration of the solar system in the next 50 years, with the ultimate goal of interstellar travel by the turn of the century. The team is led by Dr. Harold Sully White, who has been working on the fringe of propulsion science since the early 2000s, when he put together a paper that described an actual implementation of the Alcubia warp drive. Could the idea possibly become a reality. Miguel Alcubia is basically a guy who watched some episodes of Star Trek and decided to reverse Einstein's field equations so he could compress space-time. Therefore the ship itself is not traveling faster than the speed of light. The ship is not traveling through space-time at all. It just kind of exists in a bubble and in front it contracts the fabrics of space-time and expands behind it, causing it to travel faster than light. The only problem was the original prediction said it would take a billion times the amount of energy in the universe to make it work. But over the years, scientists have whittled that down to a few times the energy of the sun and now they have it at about the mass of Jupiter. Dr. White proposes shaping the warp to try and reach Alpha Centauri in just a few weeks for about the same price of a car. He took the idea to NASA and talked them into giving him a room at Johnson Space Center and Eagle Works was born. The three main projects are now validating a test warp field, generating thrust by tweaking quantum particles in a vacuum and testing several resonant cavity thrusters. Mr. Scott went on to reveal how there has been some success already with tests, but admitted more will be needed in the future. Dubbed the IXS Enterprise, Dr. White revealed his concept art in 2013 to give an idea of what the ship might look like, featuring the rings that would create the warp bubble. While many remain resolved in their belief that light speed travel would never be possible, Dr. White and his team are more than optimistic.